Hi guys, it's Rach. Today I thought I would share with you guys my March beauty favourites. I haven't tried a whole heap of new makeup this month, but I have picked out a few things that I've been really enjoying as well as some hair care and skincare and nail polish and a fragrance that I've been wearing. So let's get started. <laughs> For hair, I've pulled out an old favourite of mine. This is the American Cream Extra Added Bonus Double Strength Conditioner from Lush. I spoke about this in a favourites video probably a couple of years ago now. I really, really enjoyed this conditioner and I found the bottle. I had about half a bottle left just sitting in the back of my bathroom cupboard and I recently did a big clean out, found this, started using it again and I absolutely love it. This is very, very pricey for a conditioner but it smells amazing. It is probably one of the best smelling conditioners I've ever used and one of the best scenting conditioners that I've ever used. I find that not only can other people smell it in my hair, but even I can still catch a whiff of it, whiff of it in my hair a day or so later, which is kind of rare. I find that other people can usually smell it, but because it's on your own head, you tend to not be able to smell it. It's kind of the same way perfume works. Sometimes you can't smell it anymore, but somebody else can. This. I can still smell it. The other night I actually went out and I was hugging my friend and she's like, wow, you smell good. And I knew that I would forgot to put perfume on, so it was 100% my hair. <laughs> I found a couple of skincare pairings or skincare duos, if you will, that I've been really enjoying this past month. One of them is featuring my Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. This is a unique rice-based rice -based powder formula which activates upon contact with water, releasing papain, salicylic acid and rice enzymes that micro exfoliate dead cells instantly leaving skin smoother and brighter so you can actually use this daily it is quite gentle and it's a powder and you mix it with a little bit of water massage it all over your skin and I find that it really gets rid of all the dead skin cells the excess build up of my skin but the pairing that I really like is a couple of times a week instead of mixing it with a drop of water I'll mix it with a couple of drops of my Mario Badescu glycolic foaming cleanser. I don't know why I can't speak today. I promise you guys I can read. I just, my brain is not connecting with my mouth. Anyway, I like to put a little bit of these two together and together these two work really well to remove the dead skin cells and give my skin a really, really deep clean. Then to hydrate my skin, I've been really enjoying my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This has 24 hour everyday hydrating formula with extracts of glacial glycoproteins and desert plants. Now I don't know what any of those things are but I can say it's a really really lovely moisturizer. I use it at night and I find that it doesn't irritate my skin, it doesn't congest my skin but it definitely adds a lot of hydration and what I like doing is pairing that with my rosehip oil. This is the Renew Skincare Australia 100% organic rosehip oil and a few drops of this mixed with a little bit of this really hydrates my skin and attacks any areas of really particularly dry skin. I suffer from really dry skin just here and here I don't know what it is but it is crazy dry like I'm talking crocodile skin scaly kind of dry here and the only thing that I can find that really helps get rid of that is using the rosehip oil with the moisturizer so love those then finally before we move on to more makeup products I've been enjoying the Garnier skin naturals micellar cleansing water now this a lot of people have asked me about whether it's a dupe to bioderma it is that that kind of thing it's a micellar water so you use this on a cotton round and it will help remove your makeup you can use it to cleanse your skin I will do a separate video if you'd like to see me comparing it to Bioderma and some of the other micellar waters that I have. I do have, I think, three or four different brands of these on top of these two. So I can do a separate video if you'd like to see it. But so far, I've been really enjoying it. I don't want to call it an exact dupe, but I can honestly say that it is really, really close. A lot cheaper than the Bioderma and does a great job of removing my makeup at night. I use this as part of like a multi-step process and I promise you guys I will film a skincare or a nighttime skincare routine very very soon but this is not the only way I remove my makeup but this is the first step and I really really enjoy it. One new makeup product I did try in the month of March and really really enjoyed was the L'Oreal 
False Lash Wings Mascara. This I picked up as part of the 40% uh, off sale from Priceline, which you guys probably would have seen the haul. But I've been using it basically every day since I got it, and I really, really like it. It seems to give me volume and definition and length, and it's black, and you can see my lashes, and that's basically all I want from a mascara. I don't find that it flakes on me or does anything nasty like that, and overall, I just think it's a really nice offering from L'Oreal. So if you're looking for a new mascara, maybe check this one out. Since we're still on the topic of eyes, I thought I would mention a couple of favourites. I'm still absolutely in love with my IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Matte Luxe Transforming Eyeshadow Palette Volume 1. I have been using this like crazy. I have it on my eyes today. You will probably see another get ready with me for this look using this palette. I have already done one with this palette, which I will link for you guys here so you guys can see this in action. But I just, it's my favourite palette of the moment and would highly recommend it. So it deserved to get a mention two months in a row. But I also wanted to mention my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette because on the few days that I haven't used my Eat Cosmetics palette, this is the one that I've been using. Oh, I can just smell it. It smells amazing. The colours are awesome. If you'd like to see a review on this, I am planning on doing a review on both this palette and the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty palette. But so far, I've been really, really enjoying this. This is a great neutral palette with lots of sort of warm, chocolatey brown colours mixed with a few extra colours and the pigmentation is great. Last but not least, let's talk lip products. So this is another repeat mention, but I had to mention it again. This is the NARS. What is this? This is the Satin Lip Pencil in Palais Royale or Palace Royale. Really, really lovely color. I wore this in a group of videos a little while ago and I was flooded with comments of people asking me what I was wearing on my lips and it is this pencil here. You can wear it on its own. It's quite long lasting. It does give like a little bit of a stain on your lips as well. I love the finish of this. It's just a really nice deep plummy berry shade and it's not too glossy but it's not completely matte either highly highly recommend this pencil and then i have another duo of products for you guys it's these two here i'm actually wearing them on my lips today it's a kind of nude lip i'm always playing around trying to find a good nude lip one that i like on me and i so far i've been enjoying this combination it's the australis velour lips matte lip clean matte lip cream in paris really really nice nude color and then over the top I dab a little bit of this NYX lip gloss this is in the shade beige which I know is a cult favorite I have loved this for a very long time it's a great lip gloss not beige at all it's definitely more of a pink color but I really really like these two together so that is it for my makeup favorites I did want to tack on a few nail polish and a fragrance favorite <laughs> Let's talk about fragrance first. I've been really enjoying this month my Burberry Brit perfume. I just think that this is a lovely, just all-round nice perfume. It's fresh. It's not particularly... Well, it probably is a little bit more summery, but we're kind of moving from summer to autumn. I tend to not stick to particular scents going with particular seasons. I mean, some do remind me of one season more than the other, but I mean, I think you can wear whatever fragrance you want all year round, and... I just really, really like this one. It's very girly and feminine, and I think that a lot of people would enjoy this, whether you're younger or older. <laughs> For what has been on my nails this month, I have a variety of colours. The first one is a new one that I've been really enjoying, and this is the Sally Hansen Complete Manicure uh, Nail Polish in Café Oulet. Or Lut. I... <laughs> hate French words because I can never pronounce them but you guys get what I'm trying to say. It's a really really nice pinky beige nude colour. I was wearing it in a few videos and I wore it for a couple of weeks this month. Highly enjoyed that shade. On the opposite end of the spectrum I've also really enjoyed this shade from OPI. This was from their Christmas collection this past year and it's called Warm Me Up. This is a really nice steel grey that tends to lean more warm than cool. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, so it doesn't have a completely like cream finish. It has a, a more of a, not a glittery finish, but that kind of in between, not cream, not matte, but not glittery. It has a shimmery finish, I'd say. It has really, really tiny micro glitters in it. These kind of colours I love for the autumn, winter time. These kind of steel greys or taupey greys just really really gorgeous I think they look really classy as well so I love that one and then last but not least my other kind of favorite shade to wear in the autumn winter months is definitely a, these kind of 
Bordeaux wine burgundy shades. This one is from Nails Inc. This is the first time I've ever tried a nail polish from them and this is their gel effect nail polish with pumping plumping effect. It's um, with plat plasticizer technology no UV light needed so this is a really thick nail polish I guess it might be similar to something like the Barry M uh, jelly nail polishes the ones that are supposed to look a little bit like gel nail polish but aren't gel nail polish this one is in the shade Kensington High Street I think that's the name of it I picked this up in David Jones. It has kind of similar packaging to the Butter London nail polishes, but it does go on quite thick and does have quite a shiny finish on its own without needing a top coat. So I wouldn't say it looks exactly like a gel nail polish, but it does do a decent job more so than a normal nail polish would. So I've been really enjoying that one also. Ooh, okay guys, I think that is everything that I have here for my March beauty favourites. I will be doing a Rachel's Obsessions or more of a random favourites as well as in a separate video. So if you're interested in hearing about more of my, say, music, book, food, other random favourites, then definitely look out for that video. I'll link it in the description box below when it is live as well as at the end of this video. Other than that, I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Definitely share your current beauty favourites in the comments below and subscribe if you haven't already and other than that I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!